<laughs> hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Impossible. Today we're going to be doing a tier list of Atari 2600 games. Uh, and it's going to be Activision from the year 1983. Uh, we had a bit more than normal this time, uh, but we had a good amount of stuff. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just do it. Let's, yeah. We'll do it live. Yeah. All right. So what do we you go, have you start off? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Crackpots. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Gotta remember crackpots. The spiders. Yeah, the or spiders. The uh, termites or something. Yeah, termites bugs that are there. that are tearing into your house uh -huh. and your apartment building and just eating it floor by floor. Right. Cool commercial. <laughs> Where the, the the fact that the building mm -hmm. falls a little bit. Mm -hmm. It actually so does much it in effort. The game. Yeah. No, it's just really cool. Crackpots was fine. I think. A pretty good, pretty solid entry. Um, it wasn't an overall super... Uh, part of it is just that it's a hard game. Yeah, I, it's it gives you like this false sense of, of you know, that you can do it. It's very steep and then you, Yeah, and then it gets like, oh, once those red spiders come out, you're kind of... Just once the red spider's there, it seems yeah. like almost impossible to stop the red spiders from yeah. the floor. Um, it's 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 interesting. It really is. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't call it my favorite game that we've played, though. Right. Cool, cool concept though of like throwing the pots. Yeah. I like the sound effects, and I really like the graphics. Graphics the were amazing. The building is cool. The way that it eats everything. Yeah. It feels really cool. Yeah. But. I noticed. I noticed this time, and, and it might have been in, in the previous years as well. But I noticed a really good use of color to show 3D, you know, yeah, so you, depth. You were mentioning and, that, and like on the windowsill. Yeah, on the so. windowsills. And it's a little minor, a little subtle thing, but it has a huge impact on how it looks. Yeah. Um, I, I agree. I thought that the concept of it was kind of cool, um, but my problem with it, because the spiders go all witch away, trying to like line them up, it, it seems like, you're dropping a thing that continues to go down, so you want to kind of, I could see almost like you're wanting as more of a challenge to have the spider stack up on one column before you drop the, the pot. And it, it really wasn't that. It no, was that really was just not frantic. That. And to a point where you're just trying to hit them as they're coming coming up, and and it's really hard to Especially do. Especially if you lose a couple of floors before that. They're, yeah, they're so right there yeah. already that you the can't concept take time. of the the eating of the floors was neat, um, but I just I feel like while it was impressive uh, on a lot of ways. It just didn't seem like fun. I didn't really seem like I wanted to play more of it. Yeah, um, uh, very graphically, cool. very very good though. Very cool one-off though. Yeah. Um, I had fun with it. Yeah. Decathlon. Uh, I'm also gonna give a B. Yeah. Um, it was fun. I, I think, but it definitely. I think. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Some of it was admittedly kind of, uh, kind of dull, in yeah. that. Just going back and forth a lot of time. Every event is just yeah on either the joystick or the keyboard, which is what we were doing it with. Yeah, so much a lot easier than if we had to use the joypad. Oh yeah, absolutely. But to be honest, that just made it feel kind of repetitive. So it was an interesting game where you you know trying to get the high score on that definitely seems like it could be fun. Like trying to go for uh, a high yeah. world record decathlon. Right. You get the patch. You know, yeah, I mean, but I was I didn't find myself very captivated by it. Yeah, I can't say I'd want to play it again. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a C. It it was good graphically and all that yeah. was good, but. I think the problem I had with it is the the concept of it. And we already saw it in track and field. Now, granted, that came out later mm -hmm. uh, by Atari, but it just I feel like while it's it's cool, I'm um, I'm just not really into track and field. I mean, into those those kind of sports. So the the events, I think, also just the fact that it is a, a twenty six hundred game. So there's not really an option to just choose to practice one they could have they could have done that i think there might be an option for that there is that not, on other like 
somehow like summer games and stuff like that. Has Interesting, that because yeah, it, it seems like if you want to practice at one, you kind of got to get there. And then that would be horrible. There's got to be a way to practice. Hard to say, way. but yeah. Uh, dolphin, dolphin. I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna put dolphin in there. I thought that was an interesting, simple game, but the the complexities of it, I mm. feel, it, it made me want to play more because I wanted to get better at avoiding the octopus. Yeah. Because once you realize how the octopus works, it has very definitive limits and boundaries that feel like you can really kind of tear into it. I. I liked it. I didn't love it. Uh, I'm gonna probably put it at a B. It, I mean, obviously, all these games, and this is this is one of the things I was worried about is really having to to go through here and really be critical because you know if you compare some of these with the Atari games That's of that true. year, these blow them away. But within the context of the other games in here. I kind of have to be pretty harsh on it. And Dolphin, while it was neat, I I, I don't I personally wouldn't see wanting to play it again. Um, I I think I I just enjoyed the overall. It has a good game feel to it. It has a really good flow. It, it can be really hard to avoid the octopus the first couple of times, but once you realize that you can go backwards, right, it, and you don't just have to rely on speed boosts, sure, the the dodging, going back and forth, uh, it, it it's it it got me a little bit. I did move Decathlon down though because yeah. I realized that I said I was not having a lot of fun with it, uh -huh. and it's a video game. So right. I yeah, gotta kind of judge and it on that. That's kind of what uh, some of our rankings are. Is like it could be having the best graphics, sound, whatever in the world, but if we don't like playing it, it's it's a dud, you know. And that's that's kind of the deal. So I'm gonna put yeah. Enduro at B though. I'm okay. Put that above Crackpots though. That was I think one of the more fun of the type of racing game that it is yeah. on the 2600. You know, there are several like it. We've played uh, a handful of them, but the changing conditions over time yeah. really give it a replayability and an enjoyment that I didn't have with any of the other ones. I really like the zen aspect of it. You get the speed just right, and uh, it, it, you know, definitely we had talked about this on the stream, but there was a game on the on the Apex computers called Great American Cross Country Road Race. And this was basically, I look at it as kind of a, a port of that to 2600. And so it has a very similar thing of, you don't have to hold the fire button the whole time, which is huge. You get it to a certain speed and it will stay that speed as long as you don't hit like the, the sides or whatever. And so you get the right speed and you can just pass stuff very, very easily. If you try to just go too fast. You can be very gonna, consistent with yeah, it. Yeah, but for this, I just, I get to a point where things aren't speeding up, you're, you're get to your right speed and you're just dodging. And I just, I kind of feel like it, yeah, you kind of get into a, a zen mode with it. And I just, I really enjoy it for that reason. Sure. Frostbite, another B. I, I'm, I feel like a broken record. Yeah. These are all just solid. But I, I feel like, as much as I really enjoyed myself in, in overall these last couple of things, comparing them to themselves, it, a lot of them end up being a B. Yeah. Because they're good, but they're not like wowing me yeah. in other ways. Yep. Frostbite had some interesting stuff going on. You're jumping onto ice flows to build your igloo. Mm -hmm. And uh, the back and forth is kind of interesting where you have to, you know, hit all of them before you can get more. So you got to go back and forth. The timer of the temperature was pretty cool, but it was fine. It was back and forth. You know, there wasn't a lot to it. Right. It it's wasn't kinda like uh, Hubert and, and Frogger mixed with like, yeah, a couple Yeah, a little bit. Things, you, know? Uh, you know, the... The different animals interacting with you. Uh, we never did get to the bear that we saw no, in the right, ad, but right, right. It, all of those things sound they're like they're pretty good. It makes it a solid game, but it's not one that I'm going to think about in the wee hours of the morning or anything. Right. Uh, I'm gonna. I kind of agree with you. I, I think that it's it's a solid game. Not one I'm gonna want to come back to though. I I just it, it just seemed like. Okay, yeah, hitting the button, okay, it can change your direction. And that's kind of neat. But again, it didn't it didn't wow me to a point where it's like, oh, I gotta play more of this. So Yeah, absolutely. Um, Keystone Capers is definitely getting an A though, I think. Probably above Dolphin. 
I, I I really like the theme, you know, chasing. I love the animation of the guy running up and down. Uh, the, it it kind of sucks. Uh, the thing that's holding it back from greatness is the fact that the elevator really it's does pretty seem useless. pretty useless. There's no way to go back down without mm-hmm. the elevator. Yeah. The fact that the criminal can doesn't use the escalator seemingly at all and just kind yeah. of teleports up and down once he gets to an mm-hmm. end. Yep. It just feels a little, like, cheap. cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes it feel like I can't catch him because he's going to have already teleported. Yeah, I feel like they they made it so that because the robber doesn't follow the same rules as you... Yeah, that's the big thing, is just if he followed the rules that you do, it would be better. I love Keystone Capers. Uh, it's probably, you know, it's definitely in my top five for Activision games. Mm-hmm. I would give it an S, but yeah, the the elevator being in there, I have never found the elevator to be useful. It seems almost a trap, you know, of like, oh, you know, if you use the elevator, as I, I said in the stream, it's like, don't use the elevator. It's just so slow and it just doesn't work because of the features you mentioned. The fact that he can go down, you can't unless you go all the way to the end. It's like, no. Or you sit there and play the game where you're like, oh, 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 I'm going to get off. Oh, I'm going to yeah, get off. You've got to like try and, and he's like, it. Yeah. And it's, it's it's, uh, that part I, I don't like. I really like, you know, the, the obstacle course you have to run and the, the carts that go yeah. crazy. All that's great. Uh, I think that it could be an amazing game if they would have just made the robber actually follow the rules. I think so, too. You know, I, I, would have I been... think that if they'd have put actually a uh, maybe escalators on both sides somehow. Yeah, and up and down yeah, or, or something. Or instead of an escalator, a stairs... Yeah, that you, you know, just yeah, yeah, ascend yeah. and descend. Yeah, that would be that would be really cool. That would have been best. Yeah. But for what they did, still yeah. really good. Yeah. Oink. You know what? You you were saying that people didn't like Oink, but I yeah. found it to be a pretty solid reverse brick break, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. I will say the fact that by the time that he makes a hole, you want to patch up the hole, but because there's a hole, he's more likely to get you. So. As he creates, yeah, if you don't, like, keep up with him, it's pretty easy to lose. That's kind of a shame. Yeah. But, that being said, the mechanic is solid. Mm -hmm. It feels satisfying to rebuild the wall. Right. It's very clear where he can get you and where he can't. Right. And he can still suck you down, but so long as you have a brick in the way. Right. So even, you don't have to have the solidest of defenses. You just have to have, like... A speckled bricks to yeah. a certain extent. Yeah. I think it gives it a certain level of re- uh, playability. I, yeah. I think it's it's not a bad game. Yeah. I, I, I had fun with it. I'm gonna give it a low B. I, I would. I, I definitely agree. Um, the idea of kind of taking the the standard, you know, uh, you know, breakout yeah. game and kind of reversing the the role a bit. Uh, I did feel like you could play that game for quite a while without. Like you just keep keep putting the bricks down, keep putting the bricks down. I didn't necessarily find that fun though. Oh sure. It was it was I thought there was fun to be had. I, yeah. I, I think the experience was fun. Yeah. It's definitely not one I'd come back to a lot, but I right. think certainly it has its merits. Sure. Uh, Plaque Attack, I'm gonna not lie, is a C for me. It had really cool graphics. I really loved all the food. Yeah. It's stupid the way you have to turn yeah. around. Yeah. It, there are areas where you just cannot shoot at because the size of yeah. the toothpaste and turning around means that even if you're right next to it, you're shooting past it. Yeah. And the hitboxes on some of those foods are kind of finicky. And also, yeah. that has the highest difficulty spike of yeah. any of those kind of yeah. like aliens, you know, uh, yeah. a, a space game. invader style yeah. shooting game yeah. that I think of any of them because it goes from like, oh yeah, they're pretty slow and they're, you know, taking their time. Oh, a little faster, yeah, a little faster. They start hauling, yeah. And then all of a sudden, as soon yeah. as you get to the fruit, it's, the yeah. strawberries are like all yeah. over the place and one hit a very short amount of time and you lose a tooth. Yeah, I I didn't like the the fact that, and, and the way I would have I would have said it would be better is Instead of the uh, the tooth, once they get on a tooth, 
it, they they take the tooth like immediately. You have no time to react. Yeah, it should be like, in my opinion, something like it weakens the tooth and then maybe it gets darker. Maybe right? two maybe, hits. Yeah, or something. Three hits. Yeah, that would have been kind of interesting. Um, you know, but but uh, instant yeah. death of the tooth. Yeah, yeah. Now it gives you the, the way they implemented that is there to counteract that. I should say is they had an extra tooth come in very easily. Sure, but only ever one. Yeah, and yeah by one at a time. But I just, I didn't really care for that mechanic. The idea of having to shoot up and down, that was okay. It's just, it wasn't implemented in a way that I yeah. thought was super fun. I, God. I'm gonna put it below Decathlon, I think. Because uh, I could see wanting to play the Cathlon again. I don't really see wanting to play Black Attack again. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Pressure Cooker, I'm going to say, actually, is either a high B or a low A. I'm going to put it at high B. Because that was a, actually kind of, once you knew what you were doing, yeah. that game had a pretty cool flow and there was like some strategy of like, okay, I got to get this, I got to get that. The, you know, and the fact that you can drop the burgers into the conveyor belt and so long as you didn't mess it up, you can go back right away. There was a nice speed element to that where you could just kind of keep going. Mm. It had a good flow to it. Um, kind of weird that at least for the first level, you have to wait for the song to end before you can move. Yeah, that was Which was weird. not the case in the second level. Yeah, it was just but, weird. Um, I really liked Pressure Cooker. Um, I'm going to give it a, a low A. Um, I really feel like, uh, for me, I kind of see that as being a cool game to implement, like on a mobile, you know, platform. Oh, it has also. Yeah. It is definitely the progenitor of a lot of those yeah. kinds of computer games. Yeah, right now. exactly. So the idea of just the the burger and you have to make it to order and stuff. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's like. Cooking Mama and a lot of those kind of games, a little bit of... Uh, Cooking Mama is yeah. a different kind of thing, but there are restaurants. I just mean, yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a restaurant. You're, you're building, you're making something to order. You yeah. Know? And, you know, granted, you know, the, the, that's more complicated than what I'm talking about here. But, but yeah, the idea of the, this customer needs this order and you have to build it for them. Is I cool. also thought the sprite work was pretty good. With, oh, yeah. Uh, with oh, yeah. the chef and uh -huh. the uh, burgers. Mm -hmm. Uh, weird burgers with only onion and bread. I guess they assume, though, that, that every one of them has burger on it. Oh, maybe that's the case. Yeah, because yeah. you don't ever have to put a patty on it. It's not like burger time where you have, like, the layers. It's like, yeah, so assume that, you know, they should have a plain burger then. Yeah, you just put the bun on it. You're good. It's done. <laughs> Perfect. They Perfect. did, actually. Did they have a plain one? Yeah. Oh, interesting. There was one where there were no check marks, I realized, ah, in the plain. second level. And so I was like, oh, I'll just grab it's plain. Okay, yeah. cool. It ended up being a nice and easy one to yeah. do. Robot Tank, I'm going to give either a low B or a high C. Because the game was cool, but it was super simple. And it's like the exact same as, what was it, Battle Zone, Battle I think? Zone. They did have damage, though. They did have, but most of the time you wouldn't really take damage. You would just die. Right. The fact that, like, if you took a hit and it affected one of your systems at random, right. that would be kind of cool. But it feels like it has to hit in a specific, sp like, kind of hit you. And mm. it's not really clear where the parameters are for that. It had cool stuff, but I think that, you know, the fact that you would die instantly most of the time, and the fact that it was so similar to that, is like, it, truly, I couldn't tell them apart if you showed me two screenshots right sure. now, probably. Right. But it, it was it was good, though. It still was solid in its, you know, functionality. Right. I, yeah, for me, it's either going to be a B or C. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the C. I I thought it was decent in that you know they they did a good job with I it. I actually agree with you. I'm not copy that. Um, but I, I'm not. Uh, I, I really have no interest in playing that again. I, I like that's the idea the, of the. That's the thing. Uh, is yeah, you're right. As I think fun. about it more, it's just there's not a lot going on anyway, yeah. and. There's just nothing that really makes me want to continue. Now, it's possible that we didn't delve into the game enough. I, I will concede that. But it, that yeah. is true of any game. And true. if a game doesn't grab you right away, yeah. you know, yes, there are certain games where 
you know, modern or classic like this, where it's like, yeah, if you push through, you'll have a great time. But if uh, if it takes you forever to get to that point. Yeah, you're... if you can at least enjoy yourself a little bit in that time, it's like, okay, yeah. I can slog through slower parts, but... Right, right. Um, Sequest. Sequest. Ah, uh, yes. I would say I'm going to put that at a C as well. Ah, I almost... You know what? In the context of these games... Uh -huh. Definitely different in the context of Atari releases at the time, but trying to give all these a fair shake, I didn't like Sequest. Yeah. Sequest was, it was weird that you had to have a guy to go fill up air. Right. Um, it was really hard to hit anything, even though you couldn't hit your own guys, which was nice. Right. You would blow up the subs and the, and the sharks, mm -hmm. but it was terribly difficult to hit them. And in a lot of ways, it just wasn't yeah. fun. I didn't enjoy my time with it a lot. And the fact of the matter is, we played these games. Uh, we often record these, like, right after our stream. Mm -hmm. I had to think about what Sequest... I thought about <laughs> all the aquatic-themed video games yeah. we played on all of our streams before yeah. I got to this one, and I just played this one. This felt like more of, like, almost like an uh, Atari release, to be honest, in that it was just kind of... Uh, the concept of it, I'm not wasn't crazy about. Um, I I'm gonna give it a C. Um, probably, you know, probably a little C. I mean, it, it was okay, but yeah, the the I, the concept of having to like get all the guys and it fills up, and then you're done with the level. That was kind of weird. Yeah, it almost it, felt like. It'd have been better if that would have just been like you're just getting points or whatever as you're getting the guys and you're trying to save these guys. But that is the main game loop is like collecting the guys and then go up and... and so and yeah, why make it a change in levels though at yeah. that point? Yeah. Why not just have it be a score boost if you yeah. have a full tank of guys? Yeah, yeah exactly. It just, it didn't feel good right. to play in a lot of ways. But we're moving on to a much different game. <laughs> Whereas Sequest is, um, I don't know, I feel kind of low effort for what sure. Atari or what Atari and Activision have done. Uh. Space Shuttle, I'm going to give an A purely out of ambition <laughs> for what it is. Because yeah, it's it took, a hard one to rank. I mean, it took something yeah. that is remarkably simplistic with the 2600 and did something really crazy with it. Would I play it again? I don't know. But I gotta say, I respect the hustle <laughs> on it so much that I have to give it an A. Yeah, the fact is, you know, when uh, you know we were gonna talk about playing this game, uh, we had some comments on the last video, uh, read the manual, and it was like, okay, so we actually read the manual, I printed out a template thing, I mean, this thing is serious. I have not, we have not seen anything it's real on business, the Atari yeah. that it does to this level. It Even uses kinda, all the switches, yeah. it uses, I mean, it, you know, it solved the issues of the multiple buttons things. Like, we're just going to use the switches on the on the machine. In many ways, if you had the machine right in front of you, it would be pretty cool. In it a, would add. It actually like, adds. Yeah, yeah, like like being in the space in shuttle. The yeah, or the yeah. cockpit. Flick this on and truly, it, you know, go ahead. It, it, no, you're right. Yeah. Truly. What I would say that would have been better is if they had a two-player mode. Like, at this point... And, and, and I, I didn't try it, but I don't think this is the case. If you had both both players, like if we were to play it together and we had the controllers, each of them mapped the same way. And so you could say, or, you know, because it would suck if you had to have a second player to play. Sure, game. yeah. But having a second player, because cause we did this, because in the game, when you're, when you're launching the game uh, off of off of Earth, when, you, when you're taking off, you have three things that you have to keep aligned. And so, you know, the up and down goes like this one uh, spot on the sc screen, and then uh, left and right does another. And then the button, you have to like kind of chase the, the this icon around. 
and it they moves and you have to keep moving around with it and so my thought is if you could be like okay i'm gonna be in charge of this you be in charge of that like you would in a real space shuttle i mean it's not like one person is doing all of that work because yeah. there's no way the thing we crash every time yeah i mean obviously they have autopilot for everything you do yeah but the idea of uh having it so that you can offload yes you know patches notwithstanding the idea of that of being able to like okay you know you're 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 in charge of turning the sure, engines yeah, off or there's on. something fun about the teamwork yeah element too. i think that it could be even cooler and to be honest with the with emulation you could do that as sure saying, yeah both controllers map change the things around yeah, to yeah. Make the same. and and we did do that we had one button set up for him to be able to align the the thrusters, which was amazing. How yeah. I, mean, I tried it several times by myself. I couldn't get it working because sure. I, I you were a, just too yeah, focused yeah. on other but stuff. We like because there's a thing when you when you're uh, off course too much or off like you yeah lean off your axis. or whatever. Basically, you uh, your the horn goes off right, and it only went off like once or twice. Every time I've done it before, it went off so many times because you're you're wasting fuel yeah. and all that stuff. And it, and it does it seem it. like uh, even from the yeah. single player, though, like if you chose to go in and master it, it would be yeah. satisfying to do. Yeah, I could but see that. I don't know that I would do it, but I gotta I gotta respect it yeah. for what it is. To be honest, I I agree. I you know not playing it before. I was like, okay, let me read the book, and I'm like going, oh wow, this is like this feeds like. A flight manual, yeah, almost. like a this for is, real manual. Like, for okay, so why didn't I? We're gonna launch a space shuttle today. We're gonna, right? yeah. And we're we just actually, gonna do it. we were successfully, we got it. We launched orbit. it. I was happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't get to the other three stages, no, or four but, stages, or whatever it is. But that's okay. But it we, was, yeah, we didn't want to cool. spend hours yeah, yeah. on it on stream. That's but thing, I gotta yeah. say, I was tempted to do another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, our last game, Spider Fighter, which ironically was the first one we played, right. I think. That, but I gotta say, I'm, th that was a solid game. I'm yeah. gonna give that one an A. The way the things moved, it felt, as things got really fast and hectic, it felt satisfying. Yeah, I agree. I, I was at first, I'm like kind of going, okay, so it's a shooter. I, I will say that it was pretty forgiving uh, in a lot of ways, uh, but it was one of those things that, Shooting some of those guys, especially when they really wanted to come really low, was hard, <laughs> you know. But yeah, but it was fun. I I, I definitely it I was agree with you in the way that yeah. it uh, also had the eggs hatching. Yeah, and and depending on which you shot first, it would it would hatch the eggs or not. It was it had definitely had more going on than it had a lot shirt. under the hood. I kind of feel like it had a similar aspect to it, like Mega Mania in that. Yeah, game. yeah. You're kind of you're shooting. It's a shooter, but it's got more stuff going on, and it, even more than Mega Mania. Yeah. In that, you know, it has different types of things. It's constantly shooting. I like that the you know it's not just a single shot. No. Most of these games are all single shot, right? No, it's, and, and, it's like burst mode. Yeah. And and that was really cool. And then getting into higher levels, it went even faster. Because they were going yeah. faster. Yeah, so like, it gives you the that same... Cool. Yeah. You never see that in these games of this era because, you know, the games don't... They don't do that. I mean, this is obviously a precursor to, like, power-ups and all that stuff. Yeah. But it, it kind of felt like... Oh wow! Now I can really shoot faster. It feels like you're getting yeah, like, you're, things yeah. are like you're keeping up with yeah, the difficulty. Exactly, and that that part was, as you said, it was satisfying. Yeah, um, and so so yeah, for so for me, it's an A. Um, good way to so, round it out, I'd say. Yeah. In 1983, I would yeah. rank overall as an A, even yeah. though it had some more stinkers. I feel right, just because they were trying a lot of new things yes. here, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I am happy with uh, Activision's output. They did. They did a great job as a whole. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're overhyped yeah. at the twenty six. Well, I, I was afraid that I was overhyping. It was like, wait till we, get, you know, we gotta get through these Atari releases. But once we get to the Activision, I think you'll be impressed. And sure. Yeah. It just, you know, to see what they did with the hardware. And it was just phenomenal. It's a, yeah. it's, it's a thing of beauty yeah, to yeah. see people yeah. really take a system. Mm -hmm. I, I love it anytime this happens um, uh, across the board with 
uh, game, the different console generations. Once people really know what they're doing with it, yeah. they just run with it, and it's it's. I think it's no more apparent than in here. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the other things about Spider Fighter, the colors. Oh, so it much color. So much. Uh, that's actually something I noticed with a lot of these games. Keystone Capers. The, is it makes one. it feel yeah. way less old. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. It, it, because a lot of shading in there, even though it's 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 vertically, so they'll have one color here and then another color and another color. The, yeah. But they did a lot with that. There were Atari games coming out years after this, mm -hmm. like in 83 and 84 and 85 even, that felt dull because they still had gross, simple color palettes right. where they clearly didn't need to. Yeah. And it makes them feel old. Yeah, but playing this, the color palettes, it's, it's not vibrant. Yeah. It's vibrant, especially if you look at- It pops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It Crack pots. I love the yeah. the contrast, uh, the white building and all that stuff. The uh, you know the, some of the big ones for, to me was uh, crock pots, pressure cooker, Keystone Capers, Keystone Spider Capers Fipers, was really good. Uh, yeah. Spider Fighter. As far as the graphics go, yeah. Uh, technologically, obviously, Space Shuttle. Very impressive. That was insane. Although um, graphically, there wasn't a ton going yeah, on. There but wasn't a ton going it on. It was more about the experience. It's a than, simulation. Yeah. It's, I, it's you know I was at one point I was thinking is is this an NA? It's not a game. It's an it's a yeah. simulation. You know. Um, um, Black Attack Red, great graphics too. Uh, Decathlon, good graphics, but yeah. you know, nothing. I mean, I, I like the it, it had good on stuff, the running yeah, and stuff, it, but it wasn't anything crazy. But um, some of these are memorable yeah. for how they look, and yeah. I think that that speaks to them as developers. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But some of them were more muted. You know, Enduro was pretty muted. It was simple, yeah. but it still yeah. had style, like yeah. the fact that they all the cars, which had yeah. sprites, yeah. turned into like as opposed lights. to some of the other ones yeah. and stuff, which did, they look they didn't look like. Cars. No, but these, these look yeah. like cars, but yeah. they also, when it turned into night, yeah. you could only see their taillights. Yeah. So they became exactly. that. They became kind of, Enderman. Yeah, they became Enderman. <laughs> but that subtle shift is yeah. so important, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. for making it feel cool. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these games, the A's, I think, could be in S's. You know, obviously, they're S's it's compared a, to the Yeah, Atari. a lot of things end up being by comparison. Yeah. But it's also just our experience with them. Yeah. Slight different experience and they could have been S's. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It is, yeah. That's why these are opinion polls. Yeah, though. yeah. And, well, not, uh, and it's hard to rank these. I mean, yeah. truly... It gets harder and harder the better they become. Yeah, exactly. I Well, yeah, because, I mean, there's no... There's nothing... I mean, to be honest, most of these games are all better than the Atari stuff around this I time. can't think of a single Atari game I would rather play than any of these Activision games. <laughs> exactly. So that that's, I mean, that's telling. So, alrighty. Well, that's it for this week. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us to the end here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, next, next week we're going to be doing Activision from 1984 to 1989. Check out the stream. We stream on Fridays at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and then 1900 uh, GMT. Uh, where we go through and I play it was the game. Twenty G. No, it's actually nineteen. It's okay. because of uh, the daylight savings time. Oh right, uh, right. Yeah, it changed when, when we went to daylight. Um, and uh, so yeah, and, and then the week after, we usually put out the uh, review. Or yeah, the this list. right so, here that you're watching yeah, exactly. right now. So anyway, until next time, see you in the next adventure. Take care. Comment your favorite. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here.